You are a liar and a fraud. You are not a runner. I have seen your few videos where you actually pretend to run. What a joke. You are moving no faster than what I can walk. You expect people to actually be stupid enough to believe this A true professional runner is not overweight, which is what you are. A person who runs marathons for a living is not overweight, which is what you are. Fuck you. You want to further fat acceptance and people to kill themselves in your perverse idea of beauty. Fuck you. And that email actually came while I was finishing up a 50K. I was actually engaged in that activity that this person had accused me of the, being a fraud at. I live in Raven Gap, Georgia, which is in the North Georgia mountains. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, um, which is very different from Raven Gap, Georgia. <laughs> and uh, I was born and raised there. My name is Myrna Valerio, and I am a teacher, an ultra runner, a mom, a writer, a blogger, a singer, uh, a diversity practitioner, and lots of other things. <laughs> Nobody in my family did anything athletic, so like it was foreign to me, just doing exercise on purpose. <laughs> it was absolutely foreign. I love my body the most when I'm out running. Even if it's hard and even if I'm having a bad day, like I know I have my body and it works and it is allowing me to do this thing. And so like, I feel really strong and powerful and in that I feel beautiful. So this summer I am booked almost every weekend um, with races and other events. The first thing I have going on is a half marathon in Boulder, Colorado. And then the following week I have a trail marathon in Massachusetts. I have a 50K up in Vermont. And then that's when I start tapering for Trans Rockies. I never thought that I could run 18 miles one day and then 10 miles the next. And, uh, but I can't. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, my body got this. We are in Black Mountain, North Carolina at the Black Mountain Monster 12 and 24 hour race. One of the reasons I'm here is number one, so I can be with my friends. I have a bunch of friends here. Um, and, uh, and we all love to do trail running and to hang out and camp. Uh, the other reason I'm here is because I wanted to get my first 50K of the season out of the way. So um, I'll be running and hiking and crawling for 12 hours. <laughs> So I'm hoping to do 30, 31, 33 miles uh, today. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel strong, I feel capable, I feel like I'm ready. Love you, love you! <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about the course because I didn't do any research. <laughs> but I do know it's pretty flat. But in trail runner speak, that could mean that they're rolling hills. Uh, it could mean that there's 9,000 feet of elevation. <laughs> So I don't, I don't really know what to expect. I'll just see when I get there. Well, I'm black. <laughs> I'm a big girl. <laughs> um, it will, actually, nowadays people know who I am, so it's like not as big of a deal. But before, um, I would show up and I'd get some looks like okay what do we have here all right is she doing the 5k uh is she walking you know people will just say things sometimes um you're kind of happy to be out here running maybe you should go to the gym 
or that yeah people people say stuff all the time I finished three loops which is nine miles this it feels good like I feel really strong I'm trying my salami sandwich which is what I like to have because it has lots of salt in it and I've got my carbs and the bread and my protein and the cheese I had some of my chips, my jalapeno chips, just in case my stomach starts acting up because somehow it settles my stomach and then a little bit of drink. The course is awesome. It is like there's varied terrain, there's tr re like really pristine single track trail, there's double track trail, but yeah, so I'm ready to go. Finish some more loops. My back is still really stiff, but my legs are working. Sometimes they work just on their own without any input from my brain. And um, so that's good. So it just keeps me moving forward. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm tired, but like I can do this. Like clearly I've done 18 miles already. So like I can do more. And so I'm stoked about that. See you in a bit. Trail running is really hard. It's not an easy thing for me. Um, but I love that about it, that it's not easy, but I'm still able to do it. Hey. I do it because I do want to show people that it's possible. You know, I may not be fast. Um, I may be the last person, but for me, that doesn't matter. This is the Motivator, and I am. Uh, I just finished nine loops, um, and I'm going for my tenth, which will be a little bit over 30 miles, and then I'll be done. I'm so happy. <laughs> I sound drunk. What? I sound drunk. Are you? <laughs> one more. You're, we're gonna do it with you. We got it. This is my last loop, and I'm ecstatic. And in pain. Um, my legs feel great. My back doesn't. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to. I'm ready to finish. I'm really excited. First 50k of the season. I took out my cell phone to to take a couple of selfies with my friends just to kind of document the experience because that's what I do. I love documenting the experience so I could share it with others. I stopped right in the middle of the trail and I really should not have been reading my email on the final leg of my, my 50K. I shouldn't have been, but I was. You are a liar and a fraud. A true professional runner is not overweight, which is what you are. You want to further fat acceptance and people to kill themselves in your perverse idea of beauty. There's a little bit of emotion um, that comes to the surface because it, it's like, why would somebody reach out to me and say that? Why would you want to do that? Why, why do you want to intentionally hurt people? This is definitely the first time I've gotten something that was so targeted and intentional to me personally. I'm not a fraud. I run. I run slowly and sometimes I walk but I run and, and I'm a big girl. I know that, um, but that doesn't have anything to do with anything. I still get out there and run. I do what I need to do. This guy had one idea of what a runner should look like, how fast a runner should be going, and that people who had my body type um, or body weight really shouldn't be out there. That was the message I got. This is real. Fat shaming is real. There's a reason why people have body dysmorphia. It's because of things like that, because people can be so mean um, and so limited in their view of what a human body can look like. I know the truth. The truth is that I'm a runner. 
I'm not a fraud. So I wanted to celebrate that, and so I chose to, to concentrate on that and to focus on the good things that came out of the race because it was 99% it was good, except for that one thing that happened with that email. That was, not, that was not that person's moment, it was mine. Let's get you warm. Oh my god, my arm's about to fall off the road. I finished. <laughs> um, I did 31 miles, which is 50K. Tonight I will be, uh, I'm gonna head to the showers and take a nice hot shower and warm up a little bit, maybe drink a glass or two of wine, and uh, yeah, and then post stuff on social media. <laughs>